This is how you can make your own energy drink from home. So today, I'm heading over to Gross Mountain to meet my buddy Neil to go hike. With snowboard season coming up, I've been obsessed with just training, getting my legs in shape. Sketchy. I just got back home and I thought it'd be a good time to answer some of your questions. All right, so Adam Austin asks, any advice on hitting bigger jumps? So one of the rules that I try to go by is maximum effort on minimal terrain. So if you're doing your maximum effort on a small jump, so you've got a few different tricks, you can do different grabs, stepping up in size is not gonna be a problem because you've already spent so much time learning and getting good at tricks on something smaller. So if you do the maximum effort on the most minimum terrain, then it's gonna be easy to step up in size. So if you feel like you're not confident going bigger, then you're probably not ready. It's when you have that confidence and you feel it, that's when you know you're ready to go bigger. All right, Jared asks, how do you feel about hand-me-downs? I got my helmet from my friend. Uh, Jared, I think that hand-me-downs are awesome for everything except for helmets because you don't know what kind of impact that helmet's taken. You don't know, yeah, for helmets, you wanna, get a, you wanna try to get a brand new helmet if you can. I guess a used helmet's better than no helmet, but I really recommend if you're gonna buy one thing new, it's a helmet. So Eamon asks, I'm 11 years old, what can I do? I think age doesn't really matter with snowboarding. I've seen kids under 11 doing big jumps, spins, uh, boxes, rails. So sky's the limit is just how much you can get out and practice. 
All right, New York Snow and Skate asks, when does your snow season start? The snow usually starts falling in BC in October, and then the mountains usually open early to mid-November. So fingers crossed we have a early season this year. All right, this is a good question. Are you actually Kevin Pierce that like died on the half pipe doing a double cork in 2010? No, I'm not the Kevin Pierce that died. I'm still here. Uh, that Kevin Pierce is a snowboard half pipe rider who hit his head in the pipe. And I think he's okay now, but he's not competing at a professional level. But we're different people. We just have the same name and we both snowboard. Matthew Matt asks, can you post more like trick tips and stuff? I really like your videos. Yeah, definitely. I'm going to be posting lots more trick tips. Any trick that you want covered, just uh, leave a request. And I'll, that's the, the best way to get whatever trick you want made into a video. All right, so I think that's it for today. If you want your questions answered, just leave them in the comments section of the videos. So before I end this video, I'll show you a preview of the next video I'm working on.